Your film, uh, Easier with Practice, was at AFI Fest in 2009, and you are here at the Sundance Film Festival premiering your new film, COG. Yes. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Um, COG is a selection at the uh, U.S. Uh, Dramatic Competition section of Sundance. Uh, could you tell us a little bit about what your new film's about? Yeah, my new film is um, based on a story by David Sedaris, uh, a short story he wrote in one of his first books called Naked, and it's the first time he's ever given the rights to a story of his to be made into a film, and it's about this time that he spent working in the apple orchards in Oregon, like leaving the East comforts of the East Coast and going on this sort of like idealistic trip of what he thinks is going to be like a soul-searching experience mm -hmm. and really ends up turning out to be the exact opposite of that. And he sort of gets himself down this path of conflicts with a series of characters that kind of change the way he sees himself. And um, how long did you, uh, how long have you been trying to have to make the gun this moment? Oh, I mean, probably about three years, you know really? I mean? You could say a little more than that, arguably, but I mean, after I finished Easier with Practice in 2009, mm -hmm. then I like I seriously sought it out. Then I was like, okay, I really, really want to start trying to make this. So, you know, it's arguably, you know, three, because it took a while, and then I got in touch with him. I had to go and get, I went to a book reading of his and gave him a copy of my movie, because oh, wow. all other venues were impossible to get through to him. And then, and then from, and it, you know, then it took a while for him to watch it, and then he did, and then we started engaging in a conversation. And then he gave me the rights, and that took a long time to draw up the legal papers and, right. and everything. And you're always, even though it felt really good, like it was going to happen, you always feel this sense of um, you want to put pen to paper, but you also want to until something is signed. You know, because yeah. you don't want to, you could get your heart broken. But right. um, fortunately, that all went well. So once that was all squared away, I wrote the script pretty quickly because I was so familiarized with the story and had already really drawn out the plan for how I wanted to adapt it. Mm -hmm. And at that point, then it took you know, two and a half or so years of mm -hmm. just asking people for money. Um, <laughs> what book reading did you track him down? Was that it was at UC Irvine. Really? Because UCLA had sold out already because he sells out stuff like six months ahead. And it was at UC Irvine and I had to buy like um, like a special pass because it was the only one left, like to sit in the front row and then do this like like a cocktail party before, not with him, but where right. it was literally just like one person with like a bottle of wine. I remember it was like an extra hundred dollars or something and I had like, I had to spend so much money on it. Obviously it was well worth it. Um, yeah. And I'd seen him live a couple times before. I'd driven once from Miami to Orlando to see him speak. I've just always been like such a fan of his, so it wasn't easy for me to like do that. Well, he's such a great writer, um, but you already, you always knew that it was this specific story that you wanted to adapt. Yeah, I didn't go like through his books and be like, oh, I want to make a dude, it's hilarious thing. It was like, I like this story. I thought it would, I thought it would be cinematic, and oh, I thought okay. it would be an opportunity to be both of from him, you know, feel like it came from him, but also came from me. Right. And I thought that would be interesting, as opposed to just being like, I didn't make my goal to be, how can I make the most accurate David Sedaris movie that recreates the feeling of reading his books? You know, that definitely was never my intention. I wanted it to feel like it came from that same place, but at the same time, I wanted it to have my identity on it too. So was sort of getting um, in touch with him, was that sort of the hardest part in general, or was the shoot harder, or...? I would say the financing was the hardest. Oh, okay. um, once we had the financing, then the shoot... The shoot was a, a difficult shoot, certainly. It was, um, it was very short, mm -hmm. um, we had very little money, and it was... Um, it rained every day, we had to shoot like <laughs> eight to ten pages a day, you know. But it was a good shoot, you know, it went well. Like, people, people got along, the mm -hmm. actors were great, you know. So really it was financing, because every step along the way, it was sort of the the response was sort of like how come it isn't more like David Sedaris like where's the voiceover make it funnier the ending's too sad he's not likable enough I mean I, these are things <laughs> I've heard for three years of my life and I'll probably still continue to hear as the movie gets out there and I don't necessarily think that the once it's on screen it's void of that I think now that it's on screen people get it a lot more you know I think that the response has been positive and people understand now that it exists they get what I was going for as opposed to what I was on the page mm -hmm. um, so but but at the same time. Um, you know, it was it was a it was a real challenge to sort of convince financiers. It's really hard to find money out there, and we kept on striking the budget down, striking the budget down. And I was actually comfortable with that. Like I'd I'd rather make the movie for less money. It takes a certain pressure off, right? Um, and it it, it it gives me more of an entitlement to control the film, mm -hmm. or make the film I, as I want to make it, mm -hmm. um, especially as I want to cast it. And um, and it also takes a little bit of the pressure off on the tail end of how much you can sell it for, how many people are going to see it, all, the all that kind of stuff that really weighs down on what the nature of an independent film is supposed to be. So, not to say that it was a micro-budget movie, you know, right. it's still neat, it's, the movie had a lot of scope and a lot of locations, mm -hmm. it, was, it was a really logistically challenging movie, but, um, but I feel like we put it together in the right way.